You know what could make hot tenting even better? An oven for your hot tent stove. What's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. I'm super excited today because I am going to show you my very favorite item for hot tent camping, and that is the Winterwell Pipe Oven. This thing is awesome. So you may be wondering, Samantha, what the heck is a pipe oven? It's a little oven, and it's designed to sit on top of your flue pipe. So you'll notice that there is a section for a flue pipe here and one on the bottom here. So what you do is you set this directly on top of your damper pipe and then have additional piping pieces come out the top so that it sits right on the flue pipe and the heat from the flue pipe circulates the chamber on the interior and creates a baking zone for the oven. So notice right here open it up and that is your tiny little oven so the heat circulates all around this little area here so there's no smoke in this baking chamber so we've got our little oven all set up on our hot tent stove i'm going to open up the door so that you can see inside now what you'll notice here we've got two racks you'll also notice on the back of the door but there is a heat sensor. So if you close this here, it has a temperature gauge and this temperature gauge is actually extremely accurate. Nice view window so that you can see your bread rising or your cheese melting or whatever you have cooking in there, getting nice and brown and a nice handle so that you can open and close the oven without getting your fingertips burned. The big box is six inches wide by six inches tall by nine inches deep. So if you pull out the shelf, you'll notice it's kind of a rectangular shape, nine inches by six inches. One of the downfalls of this oven is that it does not accommodate your standard bakeware. And a lot of people have complained about that, saying that they wish that Winter World would redesign it. It would be nice if it was a little bit bigger so that I could fit maybe an eight by eight pan in there. But when you think about the size of this oven compared with the size of your stove, if you made this oven much bigger, it would just be too humongous to be able to transport because it doesn't fold or collapse and is a solid unit. So if the oven was much bigger, it would really be to the point where it's cumbersome to transport. So I do like that they have kept with the small size. You just need to think a little bit outside of the box in terms of the bakeware that you use. One of the workarounds that I found that works great are these disposable mini loaf pans. These things are about two and a half inches by five inches in length, and they work perfect inside of this oven. I've made meat loaves, I've made casseroles, I've made cornbread inside of these little disposable mini loaf pans. When I use this oven, especially since there's just the two of us, I like to use one on the top and one on the bottom. This way there's still lots of space around these mini loaf pans for the air to circulate and heat up the food. And I just make sure that I take out the bottom, take out the top, put it on the bottom, and then put the one that was on the bottom on the top about halfway through the cook time just to make sure everything cooks up nice and even. Finding a baking pan that fits that exact bake box can be a little challenging, but if all else fails, tin foil to the rescue. If you want to create a cookie sheet, go ahead and take out one of the racks and wrap it in tin foil. That creates a nice even surface. This way you can drop your cookie dough directly on the tin foil and pop it in the oven. The other super easy workaround is that if you're baking something like a nice chicken breast or something, is that you just pull out this grate and you put your meat directly onto here. Tin foil right in the bottom. This way it acts like a drip pan. So that way your chicken or pork chop or whatever piece of meat that you're baking up here 
is going to drip onto the tin foil down here. So when you're done, you can just pull this out, toss away the tin foil, and keep the oven nice and clean. So let's talk about the pros and cons of having a pipe oven like this for your hot tent stove. The number one thing that I like about having a pipe oven is that it nearly doubles the cook surface that I have meaning that I can put something in the oven to bake while I'm boiling water and having a frying pan with my main course in it or perhaps a side dish. This way I can try to get everything ready all at once. If you've ever cooked a meal for a lot of people on a hot tent stove, you know that sometimes it can be challenging because of the real estate on the stove top is so small but being able to bake biscuits or bake fresh bread inside of the oven while simultaneously frying up your meat or boiling water to make mashed potatoes or whatever it is that you're having with your meal at the same time makes it easier and more efficient to feed large groups. One of the drawbacks with the oven, and honestly it's less of a con and more of a learning curve type of thing, is the temperature regulation. It's not like a regular oven at home where you set the oven to 350, you stick it in there, set the timer for 15 minutes, come back, and everything's perfectly golden brown. That is not how the oven works at all. In fact, there's no way for you to set the temperature. The temperature is dynamic, meaning that if you put more wood in the stove, the temperature of the oven is going to go up. If you let the stove die down, the temperature in the oven is going to go down. There's a couple ways that you can regulate the temperature, and one of them is with using the damper. So if it's getting too hot, you can close your damper, which is going to lower the temperature in here. But you have to keep your eye on this dial, because this dial is going to tell you what the air temperature inside the oven is. If it starts to drop and it's not hot enough, go ahead, open that damper up again. You can also regulate the temperature here using a combination of a partially closed damper on your flue pipe and opening or closing the front damper on the wood stove itself. The last way to regulate heat, which is something that you may have to do if you find that you put too much wood in the stove and the oven gets too hot, is damper down and then just pop open the door ajar a little bit, just to let a little bit of that heat escape until that temperature gets down to the zone where you want it, and then go ahead and close and latch. But it certainly is not the type of oven that you can just put something in and then walk away and go chop wood or something, because you'll come back to a scenario which is one of two things. Either things are burned or things are undercooked. It's an active stove and you need to monitor it actively to make sure that it cooks the temperature that you want it. It's not like your oven at home, but that's part of the fun. So what's the Lone Crow official rating for the Winterwell medium sized pipe oven? I honestly would give this pipe oven a rating of five out of five crows. This is my ultimate, all time, absolutely favorite camping item of all time, of all seasons. I know it sounds crazy. Out of all the stuff that I've reviewed on this channel, out of all the gear that I've owned over the years, this silly little pipe oven is just my absolutely favorite thing. It just makes me feel so homey and it makes me feel like I'm just kind of like this pioneer woman living on the frontier baking my bread inside my hot tent. I just absolutely love it. But my feelings aside, the craftsmanship is superior, the functionality is superior, and the way that it fits with the Winterwell stove system is just phenomenal. If you're thinking about getting into baking in your hot tent, you're going to love this little oven. It is fantastic. Hey, listen, we've got great videos on this channel, so go ahead and click on these links, and we'll see you guys over on the next one.